Now we know that Muhammad was being accused over and over by the Meccans and the Jews of Medina of stealing stories, legend stories and fairy tales that were already known, well documented before Muhammad. And if we go to chapter 25, ayah 5 for example, we can read, and they say, tales of the ancients which he has caused to be written and they are dictated before him morning and evening so here muhammad in his, in the quran was being accused of stealing well-known stories legend stories fairy tales fables that he implemented in the quran and islam according to the prophet of islam muhammad the dead are being punished in their graves and we know that Muhammad was always seeking refuge with Allah from the punishment of the grave in his prayers. Now, for example, Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 6366, we can read that two Jewish ladies came to see Aisha and they told her about the punishment of the grave. As we mentioned earlier, both the Jews of Medina and the pagan Meccans rejected Muhammad and they used to accuse him of stealing legend stories and fables and implement them in his new made religion and Quran. The Jews knew that Muhammad was always plagiarizing their legends and fairy tales and called it divine revelation from Allah. For example, the flying carpet of Solomon. The Jewish women who went to see Aisha told her about this well-known Jewish legend story, the punishment of the grave, an old Jewish fable which Jewish parents used to recite to their disobedient children. For example, if you don't go to bed now, you will be punished in your grave. A bald snake will enter your grave and will start to eat your flesh from head to toe. But Aisha was smart and she immediately understood that these Jewish ladies were telling her a lie, a legend, a fable. So Aisha did not believe the story of the Jewish ladies and she thought that they were telling her a lie, so she did not believe them. When they went away, the Prophet of Islam entered upon Aisha and she told him the whole story. And Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam, replied and said, they told the truth, the dead are really punished to the extent that all the animals hear their punishment. Since then, Aisha said, I always saw Muhammad seeking refuge with Allah from the punishment of the grave in his prayers. Now I found an Indonesian Ustaz, an Imam who is going to explain to us the punishment of the grave. He will tell us all the fine details of this story, which every Muslim on this planet have to believe in. Muslims are terrified and they all seek refuge with Allah from the punishment of the grave. And when the soul leaves the deceased body and is carried to his grave, the righteous soul will say, bring me closer, bring me closer. And the wicked one will say, Oh my Allah, where are they taking me? After the funeral prayer on the deceased is over, the grave will say, I am the house of exile. I am the house of loneliness. I am the house of dust. I am the house of worms. And as the hadith says, if the human is placed inside his grave and his friends start to leave, his soul returns back to him until he hears their footsteps fade away and then suddenly two angels appear to him their names are Munkar wa Manakir and they help the deceit to sit straight and start testing him so if the deceit was a true Muslim believer they will ask him who is your Lord? my Lord is Allah what is your religion? my religion is Islam who is the man who sent to you? He is Rasulullah. And how do you know? I read the book of Allah and I believe in him and accepted him. So he finally passed the exam 
and he will be rewarded with the gift of Jannah. And an overwhelming voice from above will say, Oh my righteous Abdul, quickly open for him the doors of Jannah. Then a man with beautiful appearance come by and says, I am your righteous deeds. But for the Kafir, the angels come and ask him, Who is your Lord? Uh, 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 I don't know, Madri! What is your religion? Uh, uh, I don't know! Who is the man who lived among you? Uh, 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 I don't know, Madri! And the angels tell him, you don't know and you failed your test. And the poor man failed his exam and test and the punishment of the grave starts and a voice from heaven says, he lied, bring down fire upon him. And the angel starts to hammer him down with a big sledgehammer. Such amazing big hammer that if you throw it down, it can break a mountain into small pieces of rocks and dust and the Kafir screams and crimes from the pain and suffering so loud that all creation can hear him except mankind and jinn and he is struck down until he turns to dust and Allah turns him back to normal and the angels strike him down with a final blow and his grave starts to close around him until he limbs crushed and earth is commanded to swallow him and it swallows him completely and a snake crawl in his grave and a bold snake called Saban al-Aqra and the snake starts to eat his flesh from head to toe and a man appears from out of nowhere with an ugly face filthy clothes and a bad smell and he says I'm your wicked deeds and then his place in fire is shown to him <laughs>